Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I own the Water East Store and the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about how to change the lamp and service a Viqua E4 disinfection system. Now these uh, UV systems, be it the D4, the E4, or the F4, the procedure is exactly the same. So if you're not sure about how these systems work, please click the link up here. It'll take you right to a YouTube video that explains how they work. And uh, okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to shut off the water. So the water flow coming in, we want to turn that off. So I should mention that the Viqua controller at this point will be warning you that it's time to change the lamp. So the lamp's good for one year of use. After that time, it needs to be replaced. So if you're looking for some more information about uh, the Viqua LCD interactive controller like this system has, click the link up here. Some great information on a YouTube video that I made that will help you with that. Okay, so once we've shut off the water coming into the system, um, then we need to release the pressure. So anywhere in the house you can go and you can shut off the, wa the water, or sorry, open a faucet and let the water flow till it slows down to a trickle. That's releasing the pressure in the whole system. Once it's slowed down to a, a trickle, then you can shut off the ball valve after the system, like this one here. Okay, so once you've completed that, then you need to unplug the, the controller. Unplug the controller. And you'll hear the beeping kind of wind down. It'll take a few seconds for it to stop. And then you're going to want to wait um, 10 minutes or so for the lamp to cool because otherwise it's quite hot and very difficult to handle. After it's cooled, you just pull up on these two tabs to release it. Pull the cap off. And then you unscrew the lamp. I always suggest you handle the lamp and the sleeve with a clean cloth. Pull that up, grab it and pull it out. Then undo the gray nut. Pull that off and then you can pull out the quartz sleeve. So at this point you want to clean that quartz sleeve. You can use a CLR, um, vinegar or some kind of a product like that, but it has to end up being perfectly clean. If you can't get it perfectly clean, you'll have to replace the quartz sleeve with a new one. Put the new sleeve back in and uh, put a new O-ring on, about three quarters of an inch or so from the end. And then you can put the, the gray bolt back in place. Hand tight is good enough. And then again, using the clean cloth, you want to grab the new UV lamp. Again, if you want to handle it by the ends, you can. Slide it in there. Tighten it up. It tightens to a full stop, and then it's tight enough. And then using this uh, ring here, you can locate it with the, the two plugs and the four. Line them up. And then make sure it's snapped in on both sides. I'd also like to mention that we do offer discount pricing and free shipping on these systems and all the replacement filters and the UV lamp. Just click the link up here, take you right to our e-commerce website. Okay, so then now what we want to do is we want to plug the unit back in. And... And it's going to go through its startup procedure. So the first thing what it's going to do is going to be initializing the system. And, uh, and it's going to ask you to select the language. English is the default here, so it will automatically select that. If you want to move along, you can press uh, select. And uh, so it's going to ask for model selection. So it already says a model E4, so we know that's correct. So we press that. And uh, product registration. Um, this would be more when the unit, you first purchased the unit. And then the lamp is um, starting up. So it's warming up. It takes about a minute or so to come up to full operating strength. During that time, it'll say lamp warning. Don't be concerned at that point. It'll always say that every time you change the lamp. It takes about a minute or so and then you'll see it'll, it'll clear. Okay, there it's clicked. So now it says um, how many days you have remaining. So you're going to have to reset the timer when you replace the lamp. And lamp reset is at the very bottom. So you just push this button. Have you replaced the, the, the lamp? It says reset, hold five seconds. And now it says 365 days, so you're good for another year. 
So once you finish that part of it, then what you can do is you can use the filter housing wrench to change your pre-filters, whether you have the 20 inch big blues like I have here or whatever kind you have, you would unscrew those, um, clean them out, put new replacement filters into it. And, uh, and then once that's done, so now this is up to full operating. So what you can do, um, what I mean by operating intensity from the UV lamp, you can open this inlet valve partially, let the system fill, check for leaks, if there's no leaks, then you can open this up fully, open up the outlet fully, and then go to a high flow faucet, like a um, laundry room sink or a bathtub sink or something like that. Let the water run so you can flush out any debris that was ent entered into the system while you were doing this work. Also flush out the carbon fines from your carbon filter here. Once that's done, then um, you're all set. And that's it. If you like what we saw today, please click the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified about all the new videos that become available on this channel. If you, I also really appreciate it if you could share this uh, video with your Facebook friends. For some more information, you can go to our websites, either thewatereastore.com or thewaterestoremidland.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.